We're about to taste some food with our noses. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Somebody once said that 50% of your taste is smell. That was me. I don't know if that was a doctor or a scientist or who said that. And but we all believe it. But everybody knows that when you can't smell, when you've got a cold, food doesn't taste good. Or if you're eating something you don't like, as a kid, you know to go like this in order going, to force bump, yourself to right. eat it. Uh -huh. And so the way that that works is you're actually sending, uh, when you smell something, you're sending the essence of the food to your olfactory nerve and it's contributing to the way that your brain interprets the food. Sure. And chefs know, no good chefs know this, right? And so there's actually places where they're creating these experiences where you're smelling one thing and eating one thing. There's some restaurants that are pumping in certain smells for certain meals. Mm. It gets very high tech and we get very high tech on this show and that's why I have invented the Smellivator. Smellivation 2014. So these upside down visors are gonna <laughs> hold things for us to smell while blocking our vision from what we're actually eating. So that we're gonna be eating things while smelling other things and seeing. It kind of hurts right here. Is yours yeah, tight right there? impacts. It's funny how it, it gives. Yours well, isn't even fastened back here. Oh, that it really makes me look like I have an overbite. <laughs> There you and go. that I should talk like this, but no, no offense to anyone <laughs> who talks like this. Um, <laughs> it also makes me look like I'm smelling something bad. All right, the objective here is to see if what we're smelling influences what we're tasting. We don't know what we're gonna be smelling or tasting, and we won't even be able to see what we're tasting. I told them that, they're, they're all on board. Let's do this. Round one. Bring it in. Ooh. Hey. What's that, tuna? Oh, tuna. Ooh. Ugh. Okay. Tuna bad. And let me eat something good. I don't, I don't, mm. It's too much. I got. All right. Mm. Ooh. Oh. I think it's a brownie. Tuna brownie. Ooh. This is kind of how I feel like Heathcliff would feel digging around in a dumpster. If I focus on the taste, I oh. can I can outweigh the smell. But if I just take it in, if I breathe really deeply. It makes the brownie, which I believe this to be a brownie. It, I hope it's a brownie. I can see yours, it is a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't look at mine. Um, it like makes it, it feel like liquid fish. Yeah, it's not pleasant. Um, don't recommend this one. Round two. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Coffee. Is that, mmm, coffee Coffee beans. beans. Mm. I like coffee beans. Let me get a good, Okay, now bring it in, the food. Mm. Ugh. I hate tomatoes and I hope that's not a tomato. It's a Oh, it is. It's a coffee fruit. I'm really trying to take in the uh, the coffee because I hate raw tomatoes. But it's not, it's a coffee tomato. Hmm. Okay, so it's nose over matter. Coffee smell is a lot stronger than tomato taste. That was what I just realized. T tomato was all texture, no taste at all. Like li normally I cannot get a raw tomato down. Yeah. Now you know how to help yourself. Yeah, just wear this and Eat. look awesome. Yeah, Eat tomatoes at the tomato restaurant with Smellivator. It, I, my, in my mind, they're still very much separate experiences. Like they're not melding into, oh, coffee tomato. It's more like, do you want to yeah. listen to the radio or watch television? It's may, different to take both of them in at the same time. Right, I, 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 may, I don't think I'm actually doing that yet. Well, we can only keep going. Round three. <laughs> New smell. Mm. What, oh, good. what is that? Oh, uh, I can't see it, it's so close. Oh. What is that? It's making me want to vomit Ooh, already. Hold on, hold on. Is that a candle? Is. Yeah, what is it? Oh, liquid oh. smoke, like a burnt candle. See, I was right. That is unpleasant. Can I have a taste of something now? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Mm. Burnt jello. Mm. Oh. Now, my. before I eat all this, since I know that it's jello, I'm tr I'm actually trying to make the. Oh, sorry. It ma it's barbecue sauce. <clears throat> Together, it makes barbecue sauce. It does. It makes barbecue give, sauce. Give, give me some more of these. Jello and smoke is barbecue sauce. <laughs> give, give me more. Give me some more too. Here we go. Wow. Here we go. 
It is barbecue sauce, Rhett. You're a genius. One thing I just learned is that liquid smoke is definitely an ingredient in barbecue sauce already, I think. Look at this, mine became a smell devator. <laughs> this is nothing now, man. Oh, that's a, it's a cotton ball. I was like, I thought it was literally smoke sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> that liquid, can't happen. Liquefied smoke. Round four. Ooh. So we got, oh, what's that, like rubbing alcohol? Uh, Whoa. Uh, like burning my nose hairs, which, which needed to be done, I acknowledge. Is this safe? Uh, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> what is this? Boiled peanuts. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's like drinking Everclear and eating boiled peanuts at the same mm. time. It's like being right outside the North Carolina State Fair. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I don't recommend smelling alcohol of this type. Oh, goodness. While eating anything. Oh, everything's burning. It feels like you could eat something that could potentially kill you though, and it would like somehow be taken care of by the alcohol. Like you could eat something laced with bacteria and it wouldn't matter because the alcohol would kill it. Is that how it works? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good to know. Real fast. Oh, that's a. Oh, oh, this is like. Oh gosh. This is like my aunt Wilma's car. Oh, like mothball. Oh gosh. Oh, all right. Give me some foods. I'll breaking out the pizza plank available at redlink.com/store. Oh my. Oh, it smells like I'm. It smells like I'm eating fabric softener. And I don't it, feel and well. It, and, it, and it feels like a dead fish, but I hope it's a pickle. It's very acidic. There's Ooh. lots of acid here and there's lots of new car up here. This is the cleanest pickle I've ever tasted. It's like somebody just washed my car, but they like left an old pickle in there. <laughs> hey, you want a pickle? I left a pickle for hey, you. I left a pickle. I assume you wanted me to not throw away the pickle. Yeah. It's been under the seat for a while. I just left it there. But it's a food product. I didn't want to be wasteful. You can eat it now. I rolled it up and put it in your cup holder. Golly. Was it a pickle? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. New car pickle. My the, <laughs> my nose innards are like totally. Permanently damaged. Burnt. Round six. All right, we're closing our eyes because we were told that we definitely don't want to see what we're gonna eat. I don't know if we wanna see what we wanna smell or whatever. Well, but. we're not supposed to see it anyway because of the, the this high quality apparatus. But, but just in case, sometimes I see it out of the corner of my eye or whatever. Okay. All right, so bring in the smell. Eyes still closed. <laughs> Ooh, oh, fart. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. That oh. doesn't smell like fart, that smells like. That's stinky cheese, man. Dang, that's some stinky cheese, Ooh. man. Remember that old woman that we met at Sundance who like didn't speak English? She was like from France or something. That's This is her breath. Oh gosh, I'm gonna throw up already. I haven't eaten anything. Oh gosh, oh. guys. Okay, you ready? All right, bring in the good food. Okay, and just take a big bite out of that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't get it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But I think it's on the floor. But I'm out, man. I don't know. I, I don't know. even I don't you know what? I don't even want to know what it was. <laughs> don't tell me what it was. Oh. Oh. What is that? Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nothing came out. Oh gosh. Oh man. You could have at least put something that smelled good up on the top. Oh my goodness. Did, did you swallow it? No. <laughs> it, at first I couldn't get it into my mouth at all and then the second time I got it and then that was when you... Oh. God. Dude. Oh. Has it been cooked? Yeah. Well, I, well, let's uh. It let's, smells horrible in let's here. Let's figure out what we've learned. I think we've learned that 
If you put something that smells nasty under your nose and then put something different nasty in your mouth, nasty plus nasty equals nasty. And I'm not talking about the town in London. That was the most intense dry heave <laughs> in the history of Good Mythical Morning. <laughs> it's like, I want to watch that back. It's like, <laughs> it was so intense. I think that you should do this at home. You should do this at parties because somebody's gonna react like that. Oh man! And, That's all, and we're gonna start selling these, and we got these are just prototypes. We're also gonna sell those too. Free octopus. <laughs> Thanks for liking and commenting, and for hopefully not dry heaving along with Link. You know what time it is. I'm Caroline from Louisiana, and it's time to spend the wheel of mythicality. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, we will try to remember to retweet. The, all the gifs of Link Dry Heat. <laughs> Click through the Good Mythical More them. where we try to recover from what happened. And whoever's idea this was, Alex is gonna is gonna have to eat some of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Payback. Link can't pronounce Rhett's name. Hey Rahat, let's uh oh, 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 hold on a second. What? Hey Rahat. We need to uh clean up this mess because it stinks in here, Rahat. The the H. It's silent, it has been like forever. The H is silent. Why would you start saying it now? I don't know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it just seems to work. You I know? think something, I think. The, just uh, think about it. The octopus affected your brain. Just listen to your name, man. Right? It's, like it's it. got a ring to it. Right? 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 What about the extra T? Right? And then, yeah, and then when you're done, it just becomes like a, it come, becomes like a toothache. I got a toothache, but I still want to go golfing. <laughs> Four!